The British people have voted to leave the European Union and their will must be respected. I would build a great wall and nobody builds walls better than me, believe me. And I'll... One person at the centre of this terror attack against our Muslim community in New Zealand. of globalization, we see the urgency and the necessity in almost every people that they want to know about what is happening around the world. Uh, they want to know the realities, causes and consequences about the uh, renowned or uh, uh, mentioned worthy international incident. The main reason why we should study international relations uh, is the fact uh, that the entire population of the earth is divided into uh, separate political communities um, or independent states which profoundly affect the way we live with, uh, together these states form an uh, international system that is global in uh, extent. Uh, as young lawyer, it prepares our students as international citizens. So the students, they can look beyond the state. Uh, they, they look beyond the things which are happening not only within the states but also in international sphere. Today, in the contemporary world, we almost have 200 uh, states uh, and they interact with each other regularly and they affect the everyday life of every citizen uh, in, the, in the world. Uh, it is an interdisciplinary subject. We study uh, economics, we study war and diplomacy, we study national security. At the same time, we study uh, philosophy. Uh, uh, in international relations. The students of IR, they prepare themselves for, as the global citizens and they get acquainted to different states and different international organizations. But what makes IR does here is that we try to look through the IR theories at these incidents. So, so what IR people is, does is that we, we look at the events and we try to uh, you know, analyze them using the theories of IR. And that is the distinctiveness of IR people and the IR community. And uh, we all know that through the use of media technology, now everyone can know what things are going on throughout the world. But it is, it is the students of IR who actually understand why these things are happening and they can analyze and also predict those techniques. Right? Uh, as an academic subject, international relations study the relations between the national governments, international organizations, uh, the multinational corporations. Uh, we also study the non-state actors. Um, in recent years, we also study artificial intelligence, how artificial intelligence in fact um, affects the life of people around the world. Uh, so it is a very dynamic subject. Uh, we do not just stick to one particular uh, area. In IR, there are lots of theories like realism, liberalism, constructivism. These are the major theories of IR, which helps our students to understand, uh, to, to analyze an event and to predict the different events throughout the world. Now, realism, which sometimes give a very, gives a very pessimistic view uh, about international affairs, but it is the most used and also most important theories of IR, or one of the biggest theories of IR, which helps to uh, understand international affairs, especially why conflict is a reality in international arena. Now, there is again liberalism, which helps to understand how states can also cooperate. And there are other theories, which is a recent theory of IR, like constructivism, which can help students uh, to have understanding about uh, the issues like how shared interest or shared identities or shared values can uh, help a state to take decision regarding who will be its foe or who will be its uh, friend. If you look at Syrian crises, if you look at global environmental problems, if you look at the humanitarian crisis that tend to continue all over the world. So every time we see that, we try to look at those incidents and events from the perspective of different IR theories. If I am going to describe Brexit, then always I am thinking in my mind that yes, what theory will be best suited to explain Brexit. If I am going to the departure of US from the Paris Climate Agreement, then also it works upon the people who studies IR or who teaches IR or who teach IR is that which theory, according to which theory, it is best explained. 
in the Venezuela crisis that has broke out in uh, very recently. So we see that there are multiple stakeholders and uh, they are trying to channelize, interpret the incident according to their own interest. USA has its own vested interest in Venezuela. At the same time, the, the, the common people in Venezuela, they have their own demands and claims that is to be manifested in the future uh, future maneuverings uh, uh, of them. So in this, uh, in, when these sort of incidents are going on, so we IR people actually try to uh, prescribe what might happen in future using the theoretical tools and techniques and uh, that is what actually we do in IR and that makes the difference for the IR people. If I can collect my memory, it was September 2015 when our honorable licensure called a special meeting and decided that we open a new department in our university. And I was given the responsibility of opening international relations. Our first class was starting from January 15, and it was the PR 15 months, they started their class. And with the help of teachers and professor, professor of Dhaka University and our new recruited teachers who started our class. Now our first class has completed the honors, now they are uh, undergoing masters. Our department organized every month, every year national seminars. So far we have organized a uh, lot of seminars. And our department also organized two clubs. Number one is the Global Affairs Club and the Quizzes Club. The Global, Global Affairs Club is internationally now known. It, uh, it is organized three international seminars and every year the students of all universities of Bangladesh and also the students of other universities of the world are participating here. I wish our department will succeed more and our students will do better in the, uh, in the markets and also they will be contributing to uh, in, the, in our national building and the international area. As a diplomats, they will also be able to contribute to the country. Relation brings study of international politics, concepts and theories. There are diversities of approaches which helps us understand the world system. We study theories and which include not only realism but also uh, there are other theories like liberalism, uh, social constructivism and uh, feminist, feminist ideas, then postmodernism, critical theories etc. And we study this uh, we can uh, evaluate all this uh, present scenario with all these uh, theories like uh, we can uh, explain the relation between India, China, United States and all the big powers. We analyze the Brexit issues uh, like why the uh, Brexit is happening and the reason behind is realism. Mainly, realism is mainly focusing on the state centric idea. Basically, the international relations is a multi dimensional subject. Not only we learn the basic concepts of IR here, we learn uh, philosophy, uh, economics, sociology, etc. So, it's a vast area for education. Actually, IR is a branch of political science, but it's a, it's a multidisciplinary subject and it has a huge, huge employment opportunity after studying IR in the in, in the government policy advisor as an analysis as a civil service and we have the we have also we have also employment opportunities in the organizations of the UN such as UNDP UNESCO and so on. Uh, before studying in international relations, a common uh, image that we had in Bangladesh politics is uh, it's very negative, it's dirty politics, etc. Et but after coming here to be and taking our, our different courses, foreign policy analysis, strategic studies, etc., etc., we've come to find uh, find out that politics has a lot of other dimensions. There's many pros, cons. It's not always dirty politics. It's not always cheap politics.